Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for taking a look at this. Today I've got some nice spalted boxwood that uh, I'm going to try to do some quarter sawing on. So I'm trying out my new Grizzly G0513 17 inch bandsaw. I'm really liking this bandsaw and I'm cutting today using a one inch bimetal blade that's a two slash three TPI. So you can see at first I do a, a first quartering cut. The bottom was pretty flat, so I felt comfortable doing this without a guide. If there's any wobble, you really wanna put a guide on there. So I've got one nice flat surface. Here's the second surface. So you see I've got my two quarters there. We'll separate them and then I'll clean up that split edge. Get the fence moved over. Roughly eyeball it. So this is just a cleanup cut running this video right now at two and a half speed so uh, this is not live you'll see a cut at 1x speed coming up soon loving that foot break so one more cleanup cut you can see this is a thinner cut I've adjusted the fence and in my previous video, you'll see that uh, the fence and blade adjustment, uh, I got this thing dialed in so I don't have to worry about drift. You can see some of the nice spalting there. That piece I may save undecided right now. So, yep, this log looks pretty good. I've got it quartered. Here's one of my pet peeves with the resaw fence guide on. You can't use the uh, scale on the fence, so... Grizzly, definitely a pet peeve for this saw, something that you could improve. So here we go, cutting some nice inch plus slabs, you know, five quarters ish type uh, slabs out of this. I uh, like to have plenty of material to clean up and sometimes I like to leave uh, my projects at one inch rather than uh, three quarters inch for these. So I cut my, my slabs here nice and thick. Again, nice nice touch with the foot brake. Glad that I went for it. You see that I checked the, uh, the grain as well as the spalting to see uh, do I want to stick with quarter song cut or do I want to do a different, uh, different cut here to maximize the grain or the spalting, the color here. So uh, you'll see that many times through the video. Again with the foot brake. Backside doesn't look quite as good as the front. That'll still make a nice book, book match. I'm going to speed up the video here to three speed. Just to show you, I quarter sawed the vast majority of this log. This is one of the main reasons I wanted the big band saw was so I could make quarter sawn lumber or any uh, any lumber cuts I wanted and uh, do it for the projects I wanted. So this is uh, this is really me testing out the capacity of the saw and making sure I'm happy with it. I really am overall. Checking the, the grain and figure. Still quartering. So basically, if you're going to quarter saw with small cants or logs like this, you flip it end for end, and you flip it 90 degrees each time. So you can say I flip it end for end, and I'm on the other face. Bring the guide down, keep it as safe as possible here. Push stick when these logs get small like this. And as you can see, with my body position, I like to be on the outside of the blade. This is one reason I'm loving the uh, foot brake on this. If you guys have any doubts about spending the extra money on the foot, foot brake, just do it. Just spend the money. Spend it one time up front. It gives you lots of good positions where you can stand at the saw and either use the foot brake to kick it off or the hand switches to kick it off. So, yeah, it costs extra money, but how much is your finger worth? Would you spend 200 bucks to save a finger? Of course you would. So I know a lot of people him and haw. I thought about this for multiple days before I said, yep, I'm going to spend the extra money on the foot brake. 
There you have it. I've sawn up this log. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really enjoying this saw.